Hey you guys, in this video we will be learning how to save files or uh, save text without a file dialog. So this is going to be really simple you guys. It's going to probably be a little bit more simple than the previous two, uh, two or three videos. So let's get started with uh, having a project open in Visual Basic. And let's go ahead and just create save with IO. So uh, I, I, I guess I was really uh, not wanting there. So literally make a button and say save with IO. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new text box. And we're gonna place it here and uh, we're gonna actually extend it. And then over here we're gonna align this over here and we can actually copy this. We can open from IO. So this is going to be so simple, you guys. Not even kidding. This is going to be just like the last two tutorials, but without the open file dialog. So um, we're going to actually have three tutorials because I want to show you guys how to combine the file dialogs with the I/O and make things really simple. And uh, maybe even four tutorials because I'm thinking of so many things right now. Okay, so save with I/O. Literally, we can copy this right here. We can copy this entire code and paste it right where the button is. Now, uh, the only thing we don't have anymore is the save file dialog, so we can't get that file name anymore. So how, how do we get that? What we do is, so we look here, and we have a text box. It's called text box three. And that's where they're gonna be typing in their file name. Now you could have your own custom file name right there, or you could not, it doesn't really matter. So now we can also do the same thing with the open file dialog. And I guess I won't make another tutorial for the open file dialog because it's actually really simple. So uh, double click the button, and instead this is actually text box four. If I double click this, I can just type in text box four right there. And uh, let's go ahead and start uh, the application. So if I want to save this, what's going to go on here is uh, I need to create some text, obviously. So hello, you guys. Put a smiley face. And then let's go ahead and create our directory. So desktop, I then, actually, we're going to have to rewind here. So users slash Corey slash desktop and then I can literally pick whatever file name that I want so I can have it YouTube uh, XYZ dot txt you're gonna have to have a file name you don't have to but you want to so go ahead and save with IO and if we go to our desktop what you'll notice is is that there is YouTube XYZ and you can open it and it has the text. Now we can copy this over here and then paste it and we can open with IO and then it pops up there. And we can literally change this and uh, yep, it will definitely change with it. So I was kind of worried about a conflicting issue but we didn't really have it. Now if you're trying to save to your hard drive you will have to run this program probably as administrator. And the way that you get away with doing that is opening up Visual Studio as a administrator. So what you can do is just right click it, then run as administrator. I have it set so I can uh, run it as administrator every time without even asking. You just open up file location. You're gonna uh, go ahead and open up the file path. So the file location, you're gonna right click it, and go under properties compatibility and run this program as administrator every time and you'll never have any conflicting issues with being an administrator so really that's all for the uh, system IO with opening and saving through IO without a file dialog so um, stay tuned in the next videos to make this program to the best of its ability we're gonna actually make this program to the best of its ability and that's it so I uh, see you guys in the next tutorial